how to do the motion effects, it bothers me to have to do so many to achieve a symmetrical circle. Um, okay, so actually this could be a topic for a whole other video. Um, and I will admit that it is a little bit complicated um, compared to MA2. Um, but I have figured out a way for me to do symmetrical circles um, quite easily. And that is with a, well, I, I'll show you. Basically what I do is, um, let's just, let's just call my symmetrical preset and um, maybe we'll take the washers because on the spots it's a little bit hard to achieve a symmetrical thing. Um, and I have a circle sim preset that I can call and now I should be able to um, to say wings 2 and assign a face for example 0 through 360 and now I have a face and I oh, and I can um, with this MA tricks that's actually a kind of cool thing I think um, that you can modify your phasers with this drag and drop method. I think that's really, really, I like it, honestly, I find it cool. And I can, I can add uh, groups like you could in MA2. I can add blocks like you could in MA2 and I can store this symmetrical circle to either a, um, a preset or to a queue. And the way I do it is that my circle sim phaser actually is a um, is a preset with a recipe and this recipe um, does two things. I have a group for all the moving heads on the left side of my rig and I have a group for all my moving heads on the right side of the rig. And I tend to have this uh, these groups anyway, so it doesn't uh, isn't it's not an extra step for me because th those two groups I nearly always have in my show, and then I have just pre-built and I did this um, I think with the with the predefined phasers. I just took the the circle phaser and I copied it and I inverted the direction of it. So I have, as you can see here, I have a circle and I have a circle invert. And those two phasers are universal, meaning that I can, once I have set this up one time, um, I can use them on all fixtures. And then I use this circle sim phaser, which um, basically takes the left group, uh, the left side of the rig turning one way and the right side of the rig turning the other way. Um, but I can use this um, with like every new rig. I just have to build those two groups and the phaser itself will work and I can uh, I can modify it with face, wings, blocks, groups, all that all that fun stuff you know from MA2.